Hello, hello, welcome back to St. Traces. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kudzi. If you're an oldie but a goldie, thank you so much for sticking around with me throughout this journey of mine. So today, today, your girl tried, I tried. I tried, okay, I tried a sunset eyeshadow look done by Anne Nook. So she's a YouTuber here and I tried it using the new Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette volume two. So I really, really loved it. So I did use the yellow, pink, orange. I did use purple and lilac and the black. It really, really looks amazing. What do you guys think? I did run into a lot of issues. One, my eye, is watering so that's just that and two the yellow eyeshadow was a really really difficult to blend so you're gonna see that in the video but otherwise this is the finished look let me know in the comments down below what you think if you want to see how I tried and kind of struggled to get this look then keep on watching So it's a colorful eyeshadow palette. You can see that it's got 35 eyeshadow pans, which is amazing. So you've got a lot of color to work with. So I can't wait to really, really try this eyeshadow look. So to start, I'm going to be priming my leads with my concealer. This is the Too Faced Bond This Way. And I'm just gonna use this brush to blend it in. So I'm not going to be setting this concealer, I'm just going to pack the eyeshadow straight on and that will help to bring the color a bit more. So yeah guys, I'm going to be following her tutorial, so let's get started. <laughs> so to start off, she's starting off with Certified, which is this bright white color in the eyeshadow palette. So she's going to use that to set underneath her eyebrows. So I'm just gonna be taking that as well and just tapping a bit of the excess and just setting underneath my eyebrows. It does have a bit of kickback in the pan, but that's okay. So next, she is going in with this matte yellow color called No Joke. So that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm just gonna take some here. So I'm just gonna be using that in my inner corner. Sorry, my concealer has started to crease. So just tap on it if you wanna get rid of any of the concealer that has creased. So I'm just gonna build on that yellow color and just blend it in over here. Just gonna do that on the other side as well. Okay guys, so I'll, I'll just leave the yellow as it is for now. It's a bit hard to um, blend, but I'm just gonna go in with the next shade, which she used. Um, she used my man, which is this neon orange. So I'm just gonna pop that onto my lead. Ooh. That is a really beautiful color, so I'm just going to pop that right next to the yellow. Wow, that's pretty. So I'm just stamping it on. The colors kind of go with the vase over there in the background. <laughs> So next, guys, she's going in with Tipsy Girl, which is this uh, neon pink color, going next um, to that orangey shade. So we're just gonna pop that. It's a learning curve. <laughs> I feel like that one looks better. 
I feel like the pink looks better. Okay, so I have this um, blending brush that I'm just using to kind of, you know, um, sweep over just to kind of have some sort of blend. <laughs> okay, it's not perfect, but we're doing this. The next she is going in with this um, lilac purple. So it's called Therapy Sesh. It's a beautiful color. Mm, it looks good. It's getting better. <laughs> We're not there yet, guys, but it is starting to kind of look fine, I guess. It's, an, it's, it's a learning curve, I, I'm telling you. And I was very nervous going into this look, guys. I seem to like this side more than this side. I don't know if there's a difference, but oh well. Mm -hmm. So the last color that she went in with is this one, the dark purple, not my journey. So let's see. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay. So she placed right on her outer V. So let's see how that works. I like that. Okay, we're getting there. Guys, it's starting to come through. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let me not get too excited because we're not there yet, but starting to look seemingly somewhat ish. not get too excited. Let's see if I can blend it. I feel like we can't really see the orange. I'll try and do it with my finger. Oh. Okay, so maybe with my finger it will blend in a bit more. Oh, that's more like it. So I'm just kind of like packing the colors there for now. Let's see if yellow will do it. So I just wanted to pack the colors on so that they're more vibrant. But I don't think they're kind of like staying in place. I feel like they're moving a bit. Let's see. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's put the eyeliner and everything else and let's see you know what it looks like but 
It seemingly looks okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, let's see. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to be going in with this Inclot number 77. It's a gel eyeliner. I'm just gonna be popping that on my lash line. That's what she did. And we're not going to be doing a wing. Thank goodness. <laughs> so one thing I noticed, guys, is she did smudge this to her lower lash line. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. So this um, eye is watering, so don't pay attention to it. So, I have to be careful. <laughs> yeah, kind of like smudging it down here. Yeah. Mm. So as you can see, this one is watering. Been actually watering for days so it's like I couldn't film all these other days because I was thinking oh my eyes are watering but I'm like for how long am I gonna wait I've been putting eye ointment everything it's just they're just watering just watering. okay so I'm going to be going in with the black to just smudge that a bit okay I'm going in with that dark purple I literally don't mind this eye. This is the eye to be looking at. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna go in with a makeup wipe and just clean like you've seen here. So, cause I didn't do my base first. This is what we're looking like for now. This is not the finished look yet, but this is what we look like for now. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my skin base and then we'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back, I've done my base. So yeah guys, this is what it's looking like. I'm just going to use a clean brush just to kind of, you know, uh, blend ever so lightly. So I'm just going to be going in with a black eyeliner and this is from NYX. So guys, I'm just going to be going in with this magic brush. And I'm thinking of going in with a different color, maybe this red, this dense party red. Let's see. I'm gonna use that to smudge my lower lash line. Looks really, really nice. I'm just gonna use this brush to blend. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with the purple that we used before, the dark purple, and do the outer V.
So guys, we are done. This is the finished look. What do you think? So I ended up, um, obviously this eye is watering. So here it's like sometimes coming off and then here it's coming off. So this eye is out of the question, but this is the final look on this other side. What do you guys think? I ended up making a mistake here. I put, uh, when I was making the eyeliner, it went on top of the eyeshadow. So I was trying to um, clean that up. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna try it again when my eyes are not watering and hopefully I'm gonna get better coverage. But this was our first time trying out this sunset look using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. I really, really love it. The only things that I didn't like is the yellow. The yellow does not at all show up. So I don't know if it's because I use concealer as my base, but it doesn't really show up. So I did go in with this golden shade Talia and it is kind of what then kind of brought back that yellow, but more so yellow gold. So I like that about that. And the orange wasn't that pigmented. Pink lilac and the purple, those were my favorite shades. So I followed Anne Nook's video tutorial for guidance. I'm just gonna be playing around with this eyeshadow palette. I really, really want to master you know, um, colors and stuff, cause I hadn't done color at all, but I just want to master it. And yeah, guys, I think for a first time, and that's it's not so bad. It is what it is, you know, there's always room for improvements. So yeah, guys, what do you think? And tell me what you think about this new setup. I'm kind of using, you know, my room lighting and, you know, like um, natural lighting, so, so to speak, but it's already very late. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about the setup as well. So I do definitely recommend this palette if you are looking for an eyeshadow palette that has a lot of colors and also uh, kind of great pigmentation. I am going to be trying, you know, other eyeshadow palettes like the Juvia's Place. I've heard that they have great pigmentation. I tried, I tried, I tried. <laughs> so y'all yeah, guys, that is it. Until next time, my lovelies, God willing, God bless you. I love you so much. And it's time for me to say, bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>